Before upgrading to Android 12, confirm the system version. Versions below 2.2.3 need to be upgraded to 2.2.3 as a transitional version, but 2.2.3 cannot be directly upgraded to Android 12. You need to upgrade version 2.2.3 to version 2.2.7 or higher to upgrade to Android 12. Summary If it is a version below 2.2.3, you need to upgrade to 2.2.3 first, and then upgrade to 2.2.7 or later. You can use a USB disk to upgrade your Android device to Android 12. After the upgrade, you can see that the system version is 1.3.0 of Android 12. This is an Android device of Android 12 installed on BWM and you can see that it has been updated to the ID8 interface. In the settings, you can see that the system version is Android 12. Similarly, Android 12 has its own hidden colored egg like Android 11. Open the Android settings from the settings menu, drag to the bottom, and click about device, then click Android version, and finally click Android version three times. At this point, you can see a clock, and drag the clock to set the time to 12 o'clock sharp to open the hidden colored egg of Android 12. There are three different interface styles built into ID8, which can be switched within Modus in the main menu. We can add commonly used apps to the main interface, drag the main menu to the far right, and click ADD widget to add them. Now add YouTube and ZLI and K to the main menu. You can delete and drag by holding down the icon, remove YouTube from the main menu, and drag ZLI and K to the left. Click back to complete the operation. A new weather widget has been added, enabling you to see real-time weather conditions in the main menu. However, in this weather app can only be used when the network and GPS are working properly. The style of the instrument panel has also been updated, with real-time weather displayed in the center, and fuel consumption in the lower left corner. Now I press the accelerator. Clicking in the middle of the screen allows you to switch between song information and real-time ether. If you play music on the music app, the song information will normally be displayed on the Android dashboard. In addition, the Equalizer interface has also been updated. You can see it by opening Equalizer in the app. If you do not have an Equalizer in your app, you need to enter factory settings, and then tick Equalizer app before it. When using the split screen function, you can double click the split screen line in the middle of the screen to switch the content of the left and right screens.
the style of the drop-down menu has been updated and supports one-click restart. Click Restart to restart the device. There are also shortcut icons in the drop-down menu that allow you to enter edit mode and rearrange them according to your preferences. In Android 12, we integrated the voice search function into Google APP, using the same method as Android 11. We have also upgraded the previous ID7 interface, adding ZLI and K, and weather widgets to the main menu, 